a Victorian and it was about 105 years old and I swear it was haunted. We, everybody that came to the house for the I love first, it. I know, I love it was it. kind of crazy. And so everybody that came to the house for the first night would dream about this closet in one of our spare rooms. And so finally I went in there and I looked around and I was like, why is this closet on everyone's mind? And I realized in the floor there have actually been pieces of wood cut out. So I opened it up and there was a box in there, but there was nothing in it. So we made a time capsule actually. So Put it in. Cool. <laughs> oh yeah. That's cool. Oh, yeah. I got goosebumps just thinking about that. Now you. We've had a, we've had a haunted house too, actually, but not my first. So, um, I'm sorry, I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll go now. Okay, my story. So, um, we moved. Well, I myself moved into it was a commercial space, and the one difficult part, probably, that I found was the entrance to the commercial space was actually what I wanted to use as my bedroom. What was great about it, because it was a commercial space, the person that I was renting from, because I had absolutely no money, like none whatsoever. He was totally cool about the fact that I could reconfigure and do whatever I wanted into the space. So it was cool in the sense that I could really, uh, he actually put the money in to reconfigure the way that I wanted to do it. I hadn't studied interior design yet, but I had a little bit of a, you know, I had yeah, a little bit of a thing for it, a feel for it, um, which most of us do. So he was really cool about me being able to reconfigure it the way that I wanted to. In the end, it was the coolest commercial space Space. It was very lofty, and like you were just saying before, people pay big money for this. Yeah, so, it's so true. Right? In the end, I mean, I paid next to nothing because it was a commercial space. Now I'd be paying big bucks. For yeah, it. I know. Yeah. So crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that killed me. <laughs> well, actually, so we really lucked out with our first house, but our next, our next apartment was not so great, and actually, it was so hideous. Um, and I, even though it was just a rental, I decided I could not live with the backsplash or the counter, and so I ended up. I went to IKEA. I bought the butcher block. I did it myself. I was, it was one of the first times. Yeah, you can never go wrong with yeah, that butcher block. So, so I, I set it up myself and then I actually read a book because back then we didn't have the internet. Yeah. <laughs> I was dating myself. A book? Yeah. I, I went to the library and I got a book about tiling and I found these super cool tiles and I learned how to do it and I tiled the backsplash and I felt so empowered. Oh, that's it was amazing. the first time I'd ever done something like that. And yeah. That's amazing. I could never do anything like that. So oh, good, yes, on good on you. Good on you. No, I <laughs> That's awesome.